Hey everybody, it's Julie from A Beautiful Horizon and today I wanted to bring you my update on Whole30. I did a day three Whole30 update and I just wasn't happy with the video so I decided to do it all over again and I'm a little farther down the road now but I thought I would just recap the first week of Whole30, what I was thinking and um, what I'm thinking from now on. And if you hear noises, it's my daughter. <laughs> um, anyways, I felt hungry the first day and realized that I needed to eat more carbs. And the second day I had a little bit of a headache. And the third day I was like, hey, I got this. You know, I think I know what I'm gonna eat now. Um, I'll actually link below a blog post that has the pictures of what I ate on day three, as well as day two and day one. And then after that, from day four on, I kind of been doing like an average of one picture a day. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not taking a picture of every single thing that I eat. It's just too much to do. So that's where I'm at now, and I think I'm probably gonna do like a weekly update, um, definitely not daily. So um, sometimes, like I'm at that point now where it's like day 10 and 11, which is when they say you kind of question yourself, like why am I doing this again? And that's where like the most people quit Whole30. And I can see why that is. I'm kind of at that point right now where I'm like, wait, why am I doing this again? <laughs> but honestly, I'm doing this as an experiment. I have to remind myself, this is an experiment you know, there's so much talk um, right now about grains and dairy and all kinds of stuff. Like paleo is so popular now. And I want to see what the hype is about. I want to see if it's the case for me, if I do better without grains or dairy. Um, I know um, sugar doesn't really work well for me, like processed sugar um, or t even too much natural sugar. That's one thing that I've learned on Whole30 um, is to not have to use um, maple syrup and honey and stevia all the time to make everything sweet. I actually like coffee for the sake of liking coffee now and that's fun for me. I like not having to rely on sweet all the time. I have been eating a bit of bananas and dates though so there's that. I might kind of see how I do with a little bit less of that um, and more uh, more like squashes instead of so many potatoes and um, maybe switching out. I've been eating like steak a lot. My husband's doing keto right now, so between keto and Whole30, we've got a lot of meat in the house and I'm just kind of feeling meated out. <laughs> and he is too. So we're both kind of like looking for, okay, what else can I eat besides just meat? Um, and uh, so I'm gonna look into more like recipes and like actually making a coherent meal instead of just like, okay, um, I have a fat and a carb and a protein. I have a meat and a veggie and a, you know, avocado or whatever. Um, but actually finding something that's a little more put together. And I know there's a lot of recipes out there. I have the Whole30 cookbook, or not the cookbook. Um, I have the Whole30 book that has lots of recipes in it. So I think I'm gonna look through that a little bit more. I did make mayonnaise, so that's exciting. I can do, um, like egg salad. I did a chicken salad, um, on top of the salad, which was good. Um, I enjoyed that. It was a little different. So that's what I'm looking for is things that are a little bit different to keep me interested and to keep me going because I am on day 12 today. So I'm getting past that like, oh my gosh, I think. And i um, starting to get into the, okay, I'm going to do this. I can do this. And it's fun. It really is. Like I've never done a diet before at all, anything like that. And they say it's not a diet. And I agree because it's only 30 days and it's more like an elimination experiment where you see how things affect you. There is a purpose um, in that. And I don't think, at this point, I don't think I'll ever do it again. Um, because I think it's one thing, if you aren't used to eating whole foods, that the you know Whole30 helps you to realize like, okay, I need to read ingredients and I need to cook from scratch and all that stuff. But I already read like all the ingredients. It's kind of like a joke. <laughs> that if you go shopping with Julie, it's gonna take forever because she reads the back of like everything. Um, and the times that I don't, and I'm like, oh yeah, I know, what the, you know what's in this. I wind up buying something and bring it home and be like, oh darn, I should have read the back because this one has, you know, this almond butter has sugar in it. And I thought that it didn't. So I just about always check the ingredients, um, even when I think I know. And I cook from scratch a lot because I'm home. So I do that a lot. So it, it for me, it, it's more of the elimination of Really grains and dairy is what I'm looking at um, because I don't drink a lot of alcohol only if like somebody else buys it I'll, do, I'll drink socially with people but on my own I don't buy alcohol and I don't really buy white sugar um, processed sugar I'll tend to do 
like maple syrup or um, sometimes sucanot, which is like a natural sugar. It's not very processed, but I'm kind of leaning like away from that now. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I think I'm just doing this once and I'm gonna see how grains and dairy affect me when I bring it back in and then I'll know that. So there's a point. <laughs> and then I probably will just go on eating whole foods, but more of like a nourishing tradition style, but with like, you know, a decent amount of vegetables. I can't really figure out what box I fit into in the whole eating style. I just kind of do my own thing, but mostly just if God made it, I want it. If a man made it in a, in a factory, then I kind of try to stay away from it. That's basically, I guess, how I would say I eat. So, but this is fun. So anyways, are you doing Whole30? If you are, let me, let me know how you're doing, what day you're on, how you're feeling. Me all, leave me all of those kinds of comments in the comment box below. Like this video if you like Whole30, if you're thinking about doing it. Um, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of me and my videos and how I'm doing on Whole30 because this is only day, what did I say, 11, 12? So we'll see. In two more weeks, I might be like, never mind, all of that was wrong and here's how I feel now. So, so follow me and... Um, See what happens. I also do like organizational videos, other like food hauls, um, ways to save money, stuff like that, mom stuff and foodie stuff and trying to live a healthy life stuff. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. There's my dog. Bye.